In this video, I want to discuss the accurate historical uh, definition of the mark of the beast and why it was used. A lot of people today, and not, not just Christians, but even Muslims, will use the term mark of the beast for their own benefit. So they twist it and mistranslate it, redefine it, for their own purposes. Many people will pickpocket from different ideologies and use it for our own causes, okay? And Muslims do the same thing. In fact, they pickpocket from the Bible a lot of, uh, you know, apocrypha, you know, and, uh, and apocalypse and also other things which they then use towards the, the, the build, building Islam or, or making the religion of Islam more credible, okay? So they borrow from Jewish sources. However, <clears throat> the term Mark of the Beast is it, it, shrouded in mystery because you have movies, you know, like The Omen um, that was made as a result of this biblical passage. Revelation and Hollywood tapped into this reservoir, you know, of, of wonderment uh, to even the churches that they will say that if you don't, uh, you know, adhere to their definition, etc., you're going to fall. You know, only they can protect you from the mark, from having the mark. Only two years ago, people were arguing that the vaccine, you know, was evidence that the mark of the beast now you know was on the planet because if you didn't take the vaccine then you couldn't buy or sell and and um, they were caught in revelation 13. however in order to understand what the mark of the beast is and the 666 you have to go back into the context i'm a writer and i'm a poet okay so I, I believe in looking at things in his context. You're not going to go to, uh, say, William Shakespeare's, one of his writings, um, Romeo and Juliet, and you're going to take out a passage and then, and then put it into another work. It doesn't make sense or jumble it over. It, it has to be in his context, uh, you know, or otherwise, why write a book? It, it is a theme it, you have to follow. Well. If you look at the theme that you must follow in regards to tracking down the mark of the beast and what it really means and when it was first used. To my knowledge, it was only used once and that was in Revelation. And I believe John was on the island of Patmos when he used that term. And when he used it, the mark of the beast, he referred to you know, Babylon, the, the leader, Nero, who was in control and he wanted you to be obedient to him. You must treat him as a god and you must bow down to paganism and idol worship and you must eat the food that, that was sacrificed to gods, the false gods. And you see, in other words, he was the antichrist. He was leading people away from the truth, so which, which, what, which is why John called Nero the Antichrist. Okay, anti-God and his purpose and his ministry. Okay, it's, there's there's no shrouded mystery, but when you when you look at it, if you look at the figures, if you look at the figure, you know that's six six six. The reason why John spoke in mystery was because he wasn't ready to die yet. So he spoke in codes that only, only the Jews in those days would have understood. So he used maths, which he knew the people would understand. Um, and, and obviously Nero, I believe, he wouldn't understand it. He wouldn't pick up on it. See, you know, see, you, you can, he can, if you like, um, slag him off to the cows come on. He wouldn't know any, any better because John was 
writing in a language that only the Jews could, could understand. Fast forward in, into this 22nd century and you've got this 666 Mark of the Beast and it's developed into Hollywood, you know, and, and, and this crazy, you know, different interpretations. However, people have missed the mark because the mark of the beast is not a physical number. The mark of the beast is spiritual. Hence why we are told in Ephesians 6, we wrestle not against flesh. So the mark's not going to go on the flesh, not against flesh, but principalities are ruling in dark places. And the rulers in dark places, they're coming for your mind. That is where they want to change, right? Your values, your beliefs, they're coming for your mind. You can't change somebody's mind by printing something on your flesh. There's people who have tattoos on their forearms and has become Christians, but the tattoos are there. It didn't stop them becoming a Christian. What prevents people from being a Christian is when you implant things mentally, psychologically, spiritually, that is the mark. And it doesn't have to be 666. That was for Nero. That was for Nero. There's no more 666 to come. That was for at that time. Okay? How people or the church become antichrist today? During lockdown, we had a taste of it. If you weren't willing to play ball game, almost came close to it. You couldn't buy or sell without, you know, having the V, okay? You couldn't buy or sell. Now, you came close to it, or you had to wear the mask, or you couldn't enter shops. But that had nothing at that time to do with the faith. However, we do not know how in Babylonian days, how they psychologically seduced, you know, the early church or the Jews to go away from their faith. How they seduce them. Because you're not going to go to somebody, bombard them and say, oh, straight away. You're going to seduce them. How? Politically, literature, through, through movies, through radios, through laws. Through laws and through tolerance. So you bombard people until you change their mindset that they no longer desire the things of God, but rather the things of the world. In other words, you push the satanic liberal agenda to such degree, you break down the individual, in this case the Christian, break them down until they compromise until they lose focus on what the truth is and they lose focus on the Bible and they end up being, sounding and looking like the New World Order. Many Christians, you couldn't even tell the Christians why they become like Laodicea, lukewarm. They've received the mark of the beast and I'm not talking about 666. They've received you know, who's the mark of the beast? Oh, there's twofold to it. Although it's Nero, it's also satanic led. Satanic led. So they listen to Satan rather than they listen to God, which means that you follow the beast. You got the mark of the beast. By the time you want to compromise and you're lily wally with your faith, you know, and, and, and you're embracing every kind of sin, then what you're doing you are following the beast. You have the mark of the beast. What is the mark? A characteristic of where you belong, what your loyalties to, and how you are obeying it. You're not obeying God, but you're obeying the beast, which means you have the mark of the beast.
many Christians, they don't want to admit to that because we have to go to history and then you have to accept that many of us in this modern age have been brainwashed. All it takes is, if you look at climate change, they're pushing, pushing this uh, veganism, they're pushing it. Half of these people who are climate activists are pagans and witches. Before you know it, they'll be giving you food, sacrifice to gods. To pagan gods, before you know it. But you think, well, we're looking after the earth. They're attacking your mind. They're reprogramming your mind. You think you're looking after the earth. Before you know it, you're bowing down to the earth. Before you know it, you see the earth as a god. Mental warfare, psychological warfare, spiritual warfare. They'll come for you through health, through diet. And before you know it, you're taking the mark of the beast through deception. And you will embrace a counterfeit gospel that works in accordance to what the beast wants. And while the truth vanishes and God isn't known, a counterfeit moves in. And the counterfeit obviously is the devil, the counterfeit. Okay, you have to look at this context. Because if you're going to believe that a, an antichrist is going to come in in next seven years some people believe there's going to be a rapture 2030 which is my next video then you have to wait if you're a zionist you have to wage war in palestine kill many innocent babies just to give the jews back their land in seven years which is like a lot of far right wing now you know causing trouble and, you know they're doing it in the name of jesus in the name of Jesus, they're going over fighting, but they have an agenda. They're not doing it for Christ, they're doing it for a far right wing agenda. But you got seven years to make this biblical prophecy come true if you believe the rapture is going to take place in 2030. You must go to, 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 to Israel and start helping them you know, kick out the Palestines, you know, the Palestinians. So you see, you see what it leads to. You have to understand things in its context. You know, this Antichrist was was Nero and was and is the devil you know people are waiting for for the antichrist to come he's already here in the world which is why so many christians following joel austin and td jakes and creflo dollar he's already here in the world the bible says satan is the god of this world the antichrist of this world he's already here which why the church has been deceived, left, right, and center, having sex with their part with their pastors. Isn't that, isn't that the proof? So you just need to look at in, in, in this context, trying to read some of the words here. Right? So health control, all all these all these things, health control, but didn't frighten you. But <laughs> the camera. <laughs> right? But health control, you know, obeying paganism, idolatry, and you can see with veg veganism and plant food, you mark my words, they will push the agenda. Can you see now witches are now coming to churches, witches, can't you see the confusion? And many churches are embracing them in the name of love and tolerance, in the name of love and tolerance, the church has lost its way. Now they bring in witches and LGBTQ into their praise and worship. They receive the mark of the beast, a spirit of confusion. And this is what the definition really is. It was Nero, okay, which is what the John was writing to the early church, the Jews, and he knew they'd understand. It was Nero, and the mark of the beast obviously is, is a devil. D the devil and Nero, and the devil still is the mark of the beast, and he's still the Antichrist. Now Nero's gone, dead and gone. So there's no more Antichrist to come. He's already here, deceiving the churches. I hope this makes sense to you, and I'll make another follow-up to this.